Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? All the more reason to help out a fellow vault, then. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. What do you need them for? I'm no engineer, but I've been told we need them to help supplement our power generators. So if the task seems trivial to you, I assure you, it's very important to us. Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means. Welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. You should be open-minded about the Commonwealth. It has its dangers, but it's got a lot to offer. It's the dangers that concern me. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hey, now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Here to do a little trading. We'll make it quick. We don't need your kind lingering around here. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Hey there. 
So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. If you want to leave, why don't you just go? Wish it was that easy. It's scary leaving the vault. And the Commonwealth? It's all so unpredictable. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun, and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Terminal somewhere. So you're the reason the patrols are doubled today. No signs of radiation. Impressive. <clears throat> what I wouldn't give for some real time off. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Well, Erin. Her cat got loose this. in the Commonwealth. <clears throat> I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. Katie Penn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? I heard that a group of soldiers. Mister, hey, Mister, where are you going? You want a good meal? See Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. I need your help here. Hey. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. Long enough to have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. Please, you haven't needed my help in years. So whatever it is, it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone more than you're here. Hey. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. 
Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Stop nagging at me, Alexis! Hey. Anything I can- Let's see what you got. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Watch out for the maintenance, it never ends around here. Don't try anything. Careful, outsider. Thanks, Horatio. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Uh, but you did. And now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, a couple months and you come back and see me again. Now, off with you. Get some rest. No promises there, but I'll try. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. If you want a new look, Stop by my salon sometime. Mm, you whipping up a new batch of pies today? I heard Alexis promised one to Erin, and I know how you hate to disappoint <coughs> Marcus. Will Another new face in the vault, oh, eh? Don't you go what is on it thinking you're now, so huh? clever. I gave some fusion cores to the overseer. Fusion cores? Huh. Must be for something high tech. I was hoping for a crate of mute fruit myself. Quickest way to boost morale around here? Have my Mary whip up a bunch of her famous mute fruit pies. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the Overseer opened the vault to the traders, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old lady one together. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. And maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I'd best be getting back to it. I don't want the old lady on me again. Sixty-two years old and still fiery as ever. Those pies are going to be for- Hey. Hey, you, you try telling that, that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. 
It's all I didn't these realize nice my wife was so cold-blooded. Nice place you have here. Why, thank you. Mark and I try to keep her tidy. The Sunshine Diner, we call her. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Let's see what you got. I never get anything done on an empty stomach. I tell you, as long as Murray is around, then no one in this vault is gonna go hungry. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down at the medical center. They can patch you. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you. We have a moment. Pardon me, officer. Everything's under control. Hi. I'm exhausted. I hope I can get some rest tonight. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation poisoning. But I need a test subject to try it. Uh, sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Excuse me, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Damn it. I was just holding Dr. That. Penske. Hmm. Gonna need more fertilizer soon. Seeds. I need more seeds. Yes? Is that your pit boy? Better be. new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions, though. Thank you so much. Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? How do you know about death claws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. Death claws are very dangerous. It was a tough fight. How did you beat it? A 
a group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Have you ever seen a death claw? No. Miss Katie says they're big lizards with huge claws. Don't stop now. I was hurt pretty badly, but Preston and I finally killed it. Wow. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Hello, Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. That's quite a story. I hope we never encounter one of those death claws you mentioned. It'll be a long time before the kids stop talking about you.